Okay, today we're going to work on um, enhancing a, an image in levels. And we're all, uh, let me open up image adjust levels. We're all familiar with um, using the basic levels box here and uh, darkening the darks and lightening the lights. The problem you don't know is when do you start blowing things out up here? And uh, when have you blocked up blacks where there's no detail in it? And so what I'm going to show you here is a little trick you can do to uh, when you're working in levels that'll give you a little more control over that. We'll go ahead and make a copy of this uh, so we can compare the before and after. But you can see here we've got a shot that's a little bit on the underexposed side so it can be lightened and darkened. Um, both ends need to be adjusted so this would be a good one to work with. Uh, again we'll go to Image, Adjust, Levels, Apple L. It's going to bring up the Levels uh, palette here and what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the Option key uh, on the Mac, uh, PC Alt key but uh, while you're holding down the option key, you're going to grab the little uh, white triangle here and it'll as you drag it in, it's going to start showing you what areas of the image are blown out. And uh, because she's on a white background, I'm not too worried about the white uh, blowing out. There's not really any information there anyway. So I'm going to pretty much ignore all of that and concentrate on the face and see when that starts blowing out. I'm not even too much concerned about the outfit. But uh, we'll start bringing it in. And right there we can start seeing, if you look right there in the forehead and the nose area, you can see that it's blowing out. And so you're going to want to come back a little bit to right there. And what we'll do is go back to the other end, uh, to the shadows, same thing. Holding down the Option key, start dragging in the black slider. And you'll see, obviously there, all that's blocked up. We come back here, now we're getting some nice, um, nice texture in there, but without really blocking up too much. So we'll probably come into right about there. Check the side again. I think that's right where that needs to be. Uh, then all you have to do is just adjust that middle one a little bit to whatever your preference is. Hit OK. And uh, there you can see, bring it up a little closer, you can see a before and after. There's the before, there's the after. And so we've brought it up, but we're not blowing out any of the skin in here, and we're not really blocking up too much of the shadows. And so that's given us pretty much the optimal uh, adjustment there. So uh, give that a try. I hope that helps.